is a temperature and humidity logger starting we start the device first okay as you can see uh, the device is starting this is the sensor okay uh, the device here will show the temperature in degrees celsius the time the humidity um, this button you can change the uh, degree celsius to degree fahrenheit And the button in the middle is to set the system. The first button uh, is the name. You can change from number 1 to number 32. The second button is the time. The date first to 013 February 7. 4 o'clock and 35. Next, you set the temperature upper limit, which is 50 in this case. And lower limit is minus 10 in this case. Then we set the humidity. Humidity upper limit 85%, humidity lower limit 7%, and the sample will be, uh, let's say, 5 minutes. Every 5 minutes, you will take every sample and keep inside the system. And then you override it. Yes. Then the system will be override. This is a Zigbee wireless. We will connect it into the computer to communicate with the temperature and humidity logger. Then we need to open the program Quick View Data. We need to do the setting before we can start. Uh, COM port number 9 in this case, wireless, uh, receiver number 1 and chart number 1. Then we need to insert the temperature and humidity logger into the fridge before we start pulling. Now the sensor will be put inside the fridge for monitoring. If the humidity drop less than 30, the alarm will ring. For the temperature humidity logger, the alarm will ring. The alarm has ring. Now I will turn it off. Now as you can see, the temperature lower limit is 30. So, uh, the humidity low is lower than 30 so if the humidity is less than 30 the computer alarm will ring then it will turn red stating the reason as you can see this is the program so we have monitor chart, polling, function, setting, analyzer, save, maintain, and exit. Starting, we have to go to setting, set the port number, com port number, which is number 9 in this case, wireless, one, 1 for transmission and chart, then we will go to monitor, and then poll. Uh, the result will be poll, and then as you can see, we can open the chart, to see the data which is uh, running on real time then we have a uh, page here if you have more than one device you can actually go and check cycle time is for each second it updates depends on how many seconds you set then after that they have another function also function uh, in such as uh, download date time correcting alarm setting and send interval in a uh, download you can actually choose the device you are setting export to excel file, excel file and then you click download and then it will show you all the data stored in the device after the, all the data is shown it will save into another another folder in C which is named Quick View Port number 4 or Port number 9 <coughs> hmm, As you can see, it's already updated here So this will be shown in Excel
every data same as there will be shown here the date the time will be stated next we have um, alarm data we can actually set the alarm which is uh, beside the monitor here then analyzer to analyze save to save your current polling data and then setting next i'll talk about uh, analyze for the analyze you need to click analyze and then select the file load file and select which log file that you want to use for example this one the data will be shown here and then you need to change the value here it depends which one you like zoom move left move right and then you can save all the data shown here save desktop for example a test it will save in the excel form As you can see, this is all the data shown just now. Then 